Zoa, new AI agent, destroys Bolt and Lovable, free. Today, I'm gonna to show you a brand new AI tool that just dropped and it's completely free. This thing is building full apps in seconds. While everyone's paying for Bolt and Lovable, this new player just showed up and it might change everything. I tested it myself and what I found blew my mind. You're not gonna believe how fast this thing works. And guys, this thing might just surprise you. First off, Zoa appears to be free right now. And second, the speed at which this thing builds applications is crazy fast. But here's where it gets interesting. The quality of what it creates actually looks professional. Now I know what you're thinking, Julian, there's got to be a catch. There's always a catch with free tools. So let me walk you through exactly what I tested, what worked, and whether this is something you should try right now. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below and let me know what you think about this new tool. So here's exactly what I did. I went to Zoa and decided to test it with real business applications. First test, I asked it to create a neon themed landing page for a SAASAI tool, something you'd actually use to sell a product. With other AI builders, this usually takes multiple tries. You go back and forth, refine things, fix the styling. With Zoa, done in seconds, and I'm not talking about some basic template. This thing created a full landing page with a dark background, glowing purple and blue gradients, hero section with the future of intelligent solutions, call to action buttons saying start free trial and watch demo, the works. The attention to detail was solid, the gradients looked professional, the typography was clean, it even included trust indicators like trusted by 10,000 plus companies worldwide. So I thought, okay, let me try something harder. Second test, I asked it to build a Neon AI chat interface, glowing message bubbles, floating avatars, futuristic input bar. Again, seconds. The chat interface wasn't just pretty to look at. It had working message bubbles with timestamps, user avatars, and a clean input area that said, type your message into the neon void. Now I'm starting to think this is getting interesting. Third test, I asked it to create another landing page with different messaging. Uh, instead of the future of intelligent solutions, I wanted to transform your business with AI intelligence. Most AI builders will give you the same page with different text, but Zoa actually redesigned parts of the layout. Different statistics showing 10,000 plus active users, 99.9% .9 uptime, 50% time saved. At this point, I'm thinking, how is this free? Here's what really caught my attention. When you look at how Zoa builds these apps, it's not just throwing code together. I could see it creating separate files for different sections, hero section.tsx, product showcase.tsx, features section.tsx, all properly organized like a real developer would do. It creates a main layout file, global CSS for styling, and organizes everything in a clean file structure. This isn't just code generation, this is actual project organization. And when I looked at the code, it was clean. Readable variable names, well-structured CSEs. Everything organized logically, so I wanted to see the limits. Fourth test, I asked for responsive design that works on phones, tablets, and desktops. Most AI builders struggle with this. You get something that works on desktop, but breaks on mobile. From what I could see, Zoa handled the responsive design properly, the layouts adapted for different screen sizes. Fifth test, I wanted more complex features in that chat interface. Working timestamps, proper message flow, realistic interactions. And again, Zoa delivered a functional interface with all those elements working together. Now here's where I get skeptical because free tools are free for a reason. I started looking for the catch, usage limits, hidden fees, data collection, whatever. From my testing, I couldn't find hard limits. I built multiple projects without hitting walls or upgrade prompts. The code seems to be yours once it's generated. You can modify it, deploy it wherever you want, but here's what I don't know. I don't know their long-term business model. I don't know if this will stay free. I don't know what happens when more people start using it. What I do know is that right now, today, is creating quality applications without charging for it. Let's be real for a second. Tools like Bolt and Lovable typically charge monthly fees. Some are affordable, others get expensive fast, especially for pro features. So what do you get with paid tools that you don't get with Zoa? Paid tools usually have more templates, better documentation, customer support, team collaboration features, guaranteed uptime. But here's the thing. For most people, for most projects, you just need a tool that builds clean, functional applications quickly. And Zoa seems to do that for free. If you're building complex enterprise apps or need advanced team features, paid tools might be worth it. But for small businesses, entrepreneurs, people who need functional web applications quickly, Zoa might be enough. So how could you actually use this? Landing pages. You need a page for a new product or service. 
Instead of hiring someone or struggling with page builders, just describe what you want. Internal tools, business forms, simple dashboards, customer interfaces. Usually you'd need a developer or try to hack something together with no-code tools, prototyping, test an idea quickly without spending weeks and thousands of dollars building it properly first. Client work. If you're in marketing or consulting, you could offer custom application development without knowing how to code. When the barrier to creation drops to almost zero, you can afford to experiment. You can test ideas that would never be worth the investment. Otherwise, is ZOA perfect? Probably not. It's new. It probably has bugs. There are probably cases where it doesn't work great. Will it replace professional developers for complex projects? Probably not. But for straightforward business applications, for the stuff most people actually need, Zoa might be all you need. And being free makes it worth trying. Here's what I recommend. Test it yourself. Build something you actually need. See if it meets your standards. If it works, you just save money and time. If it doesn't, you lost maybe an hour experimenting. That's pretty good odds. But here's the bigger picture. AI tools that can build functional applications from simple descriptions are the future. And the businesses that learn to use these tools early will have an advantage. I don't know what Zoe's long-term plan is. I don't know if they'll stay free forever. What I know is that right now they're offering something valuable without charging for it. If you've been thinking about building applications for your business, if cost or complexity has been holding you back, now might be the time to try. Go test it. See what it can do. You might be surprised. And um, Remember, Julian Goldie reads every comment, so let me know what you think. Have you tried Zoa? What did you build? Now, if you want to dive deeper into using AI to scale your business, I've got some resources that can help. Check out my AI Profit Boardroom at https www.school.com AI Profit Labs 7462 about. This is the best place to connect with entrepreneurs using AI to scale their businesses, get more customers, and save time with automation. If you want a custom strategy for your business, I'm offering free SEO strategy sessions. The link is in the comments and description. And if you want to learn how AI can transform your SEO, I've got a free course with access to a community of over 3,600 AI SEO professionals, plus 50 plus free AI SEO tools. Link is in the comments and description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.